Hello and welcome to another FS19 mod review. This time we're looking at the Vardastat A800S and A600S drills. These are available off the in-game mod hub and they both have tram lining on them. They also have a fertilization option and seed hopper extensions which both of these are fitted with and a color option as we can see. So we won't be using the 800S on this tractor, we have another one up the field on a bigger tractor. So that one is not big enough. So we've got the A600S here with a hopper extension. Come with the rear work lights on the hopper as you can see. And three different tram lining options, all of which I've already done in the field. They also come with this fertiliser extension on the back, so 1600 litre fertiliser tank. The seed hopper extension takes it to 500, uh, sorry, 5000 litres. And we can see that the fertiliser hopper is nicely detailed there. Decals are reasonably clear to read on the back. It's always face ladder, use both hands, climb slowly. Same anyone never seen anyone in a hurry when we're drilling so all nicely detailed I can't see anything sort of out of place where the drill has been extended it's nice to have this 8 meter drill because it fits our 24 meter tram lines quite nicely so we hop into the tractor here it's going to flash a warning up at us when we do anything as it's on the ground when we open the helper the step ladder unfolds on the back there. So we have in the hoppers a nice bit of detail in them as they should be. Comes two lights on the back. We have the rear lights there and we have the ones on the side of the main hopper there. Rear lights are working there. And the indicators are working there ridge markers or as we call them boat markers we'll work on that drill not so worried about the six meter one because we know it's based on the in-game one so it should be okay so as i say we've got another one of these up the field that i've been using which we'll uh, carry on with and then we'll put the crop growth forward so we can see the tram lines so we've got the bigger axing up here the 960 on this drill we've got normal width tram lines here wide tram lines there normal again there and narrow ones here so we're going to just finish drilling this field so we've got all the same growth stage so we can see that the drill works properly or well, you guys can So control wise if we get that up on screen you can see at the moment it says select work mode tram lines off. Let's control on why it goes to narrow, normal and wide and off. And there are usual features. So we put that onto there. And this field's been tram lined for 24 meters. So it's every third width we're tram lining so when we come back down the field we'll be leaving the tram line again as you can see it's most the detail and there all the animations are correct I've noticed if you do a dead stop so I can do a stop here with the drill up reverse up we've got a cultivated bit at the front of the drill where the discs would be Got dynamic hoses on the front there. Should have been on drill standard. Game on. I should prefer the drill in red personally to the black. That's what we're obviously used to. Have a look at this in the shop very shortly when we turn the crop growth up. As we turn around here we do control Y twice to get to the normal widths. Just to put the fertilizer on with this drill as well. As you 
we set ourselves in going back, we'll start to see some long width tram lines appear behind us. We should more or less match the tractor wheel width as you can see. So 8 metre drill, 24 metres, it's 3 times 8 basically. So we know every third one needs to be tram line. It says it needs 210 horsepower, but we know on uneven fields we're going to need considerably more than that, hence the Axiom 960 on the drill. There's still no way of measuring widths here. About what Proceed used to do on PC and 17. It's all got to be worked out manually when you want to put them, put the tram lines in. Maths involved in that one, which won't please everyone, obviously. As long as you know your six and eight times table, you'll be fine with this one. Just make sure that you use the right drill for the right tram line line width on which sprayer. struggle with is the um, Kuhn Sprayer, the smaller one, which is 21 metres. Because as hard as you try, 8 does not go to 21. Now up to 6. next time we go back across the field. Once we've done that we'll uh, increase the plant growth speed and the time and get the crops growing on here so we can see what the tram lines look like. Fertilizer was on five, uh, 1600 and 5000 of seed. So, third time down. So, we might take a pail for a ride this time. Just cultivating the one next to it when we don't turn in quite straight. When I set this up on GPS, it came up at just to about eight and a half meters. I've turned it down to the eight, so it fits better. Width. Everything seems to be working fine on the drill, it's staying in the ground properly. But the discs are not turning. It's an interesting one. Pity that. Discs are supposed to turn on drills. Lay out on this one. So we might just try the 6 meter one in a moment. Once the plant growth has turned up, and just see what happens with that one. Don't forget to turn the tram lines off either. And when we do this one back to this end. You see the drill is slightly overlapping in the place too by the uh, fertilizer there.
this end will stop or hop across onto the other drill. So get some seed in it. Let's see what that does with the discs. ones in the original middle bit of the drill, if we look, are actually turning, the ones on where the drill has been extended that aren't. So that's done, let's just increase the growth. Plant growth fast, time 120. Let's just hop across to this one. This one is actually working. It should do. Let's see what happens. We actually needed the seed out, but um, we have now. Put this in the ground. discs are turning there, which is literally a problem with the uh, extended section, the 8 meter one, when they've not put the animations on the disc, which is unfortunate. And that one is up, so we can just slow that down again. Okay, so we can see what's what the difference is between the various tram lines now. So we've got our normal ones here. Got three rows up the middle of them. Looking very nice across there. We've got our wide ones here which have five rows of crop up the middle. Normal there. And a narrow one there with one row. Don't think we'll be doing many of them somehow. as we go up the field so very good as long as we remember to turn the tram lines on and off in the right places this is going to work fine so really decent mod the thing I'll say is it'd be nice if they actually put the correct animation on these extended disc bits on the wings here where we've gone up to the 8 meters from the 6 so the problem I can really find with the drill here. Everything else is fine in there. There's no real issues with it, it's just the issue with the discs there. So all works as it should do, tram lines work as they should do. So all in all a mod worth downloading. So that's where we're going to leave this video. So for now I'll say thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.